Barrel notes. Barrel notes. What is it? Garbage or writing? Oh, narrow boat wheel. now for the lift out today. Little pussy cat, little pussy cat. That's a lowy cat talk. Well, good morning. It's dead early in the morning. It's not dead early. What time is it? It's five past seven. Um waiting now to be uh, lifted out and then I'll be uh, jet washing it I just hope it's not too cold to paint you know I think the paint goes down to five degrees so above that you can paint um, should be should be drying four to six hours but depending on if the Sun's on it and it's cold to the other side you know so jet wash it have a look around it see if it needs any work and um, if it does then I need to do a bit of welding, maybe, to protect the uh, the hull plate, the under plate, base plate, base plate. Um, and somebody talked about putting extra, extra bit on the back of the, on the rudder to make it better wash. It goes over the, I wonder if, it, I wonder if it's at the back and it goes like that, you know, a plate that goes on the back there like that. Uh, I need to, to I talk to the um I talk to the yard guy, he probably knows about that. If it doesn't need a plate on it, I'll just I'll just weld a couple of bits of metal on it from somewhere. Somebody might have something from somewhere, eh? Well, anyway, I'm just waiting now. I, I can't I didn't sleep very well because you know you, something big's happening, you just can't sleep properly. So I was listening last night I was listening to the Twilight Zone on on it's it's a, it's a radio version. Oh it's amazing. Bloody br brilliant! You know, you, your own imagination is better than watching TV, which I haven't done for a long time. And since I've stopped watching TV, my imagination has sort of woken up, type of thing. You know, uh, I can I can think about things in my mind clearer than I could when I was just th mindlessly watching. All night. <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> anyway, filthy. For these pumps are gonna get filthy doing this boat. So join me. This is beautiful. This is. Let's get it going first. Yeah, it's military. waiting for us now.
almost getting in, it's not quite. Beautiful sound to that lorry. Be careful, we're coming through the boat, mate. It's safe for you. It's a weird experience. Wow, amazing. The drop lock down there, you don't want to fall off there, do you? Hey? You don't want to fall off there. Ooh, a 10 foot drop. Wow. I got out. What a lovely old wagon, it sounded beautiful. Press with this. That. Right, buddy, get. Don't want a jack underneath, you'll be alright. fabulous. These are still alright, aren't they, as well? Yeah, I think it's fine. So I don't need any anodes on it then. I'm really, I'm really uh, chuffed with that. So just scrape it off, jet wash it, black it, get it in, uh, back in again, yeah? Scrape it off. You scrape see, it off. Well, you'll have to see after you've jet washed it what it's like. Yeah? Right. Otherwise, you know, it's up to you what you do then. Look at that steam from... That's the steam from the, uh, the swim tank. God, it's dried already, look. Wow! Yeah. That's from the engine. Yeah, yeah. It's not really not. Wow, that's beautiful. That's still nice as well, this. It still yeah. feels lovely. Yeah, that's a bearing, that's good. Still good, yeah. still good. Wow. Oh, mate, look at me worried over nothing. I reckon, and looking at the length of them plates, mate, I'll put this two can on there. Eh? Yeah. Hey, I literally put left, that, must, that must have cost a fortune then to put that on. Yeah, that's right the way up here. What's yeah. Yeah, that's that'll be why she was heavy. Yeah, well, she didn't have enough. Right, got to start scraping straight away while it's wet. He said. It's such a vast um, area of metal. You just don't know where to start. To start somewhere, isn't it? That's the best thing to do. You start at the back, wait, wait to the front. Funnily enough, I left me scraper in the van. And the, the uh, paintbrushes and rollers and stuff like that, so I had to go back and get it later on. Um, Adam borrowed me this, this scraper, it was bloody handy, because mine was, mine's rubbish compared to this one. It's when the old work starts, oh the arms, after the first day of scraping, oh, blisters. No wonder my boat wasn't performing as it should do, I'm, I'm dragging all this crap with me. Must be off a ton of rubbish I scraped off, you know. Done that bit. Just got all that to go. <laughs> Both sides. Oh, the, under, the underside looks really good. Look at that. Looks like it's brand new, doesn't it? Wow. I'll take it to the bank, that. You can't afford to stop because you don't want this um, this crust 
drying. Once it dries, it's a lot harder to remove. So they kept saying to me, no, don't, don't uh, get straight on with it. Don't leave it. So I had to just keep cracking on. Oh, uh, lots of coffee, lots of elbow grease. I uh, got there in the end. One side done. Ooh. I've about got to hurry up before it dries. Taking me about an hour so far. <sighs> this is this is still very good. That's still in very good condition. All of this that swings lovely. That's a lovely nick. This is all very very good still. The uh, brass split pin I'll just tap that around a little bit that's still very good very tight I should polish that and clean it before it goes back it's all actually really really good I'm really chuffed after this many years of being in the water and over the sea very chuffed this is my job for today Scraping this down. <laughs> Scraping the old boat down a lot. Wow. Can you believe that? Well, I've finished the scraping part. Um, there's a bit of pitting. There is some pitting in it. I haven't got jet wash it off yet. There's also some worrying thin weld. I'm going to put up some weld over that. It's going to weld along there. <clears throat> keep building it up and also probably put a bit along along there this is this is plated the old boat's plated a lot so I'm not too worried about these these thin sections that's what I had welded on last time there are some worryingly here I really want to put some a bit of weld along there but it's protected by this really I still want to put a bit of weld along there um, the rest of it seems okay This is before, before you jet wash it. Let me show you afterwards. And this is after you've jet washed. Oh God, there's clouds coming in. That's after you've jet washed it. See how it's, I don't know if you're protecting it there. But all these, all this is little, little bits of pitting all the way down. It's only like pfft, like a thou or something, you know, but I need to get it out a sooner. And all the front bit is beautiful, original. 
that's what it looks like when you've jet washed it with a high power jet wash. It's harder than what I thought, jet washing. Bloody hard work. I've got to finish a bit more there, look. All the water goes down your arm, down your armpit. I'm soaked. Absolutely soaked. Look, that protects it, look, that anode. See why that's so important, can't you? It's only that bit. But after that, it's just useless. Unless you have him every few feet. The paint's turned up. This is uh, T Mac. T Mac blacking. Um, so get that in, get get dried off because I'm absolutely all the gloves are soaked, the jacket's soaked. Uh, I'm gonna get a cold otherwise. I've got it's nearly two o'clock, I've got another hour or so light, so I'll try and get this side done. Go back and get Mr. Van. Um, it's two bus rides, one to Kings Lynn and another one to Hillgay from Kings Lynn. So it was a right palaver just to go a few miles up the road. What are you walking? No, there's no footpaths. So I had to uh, get the bus. Got the boat's turned up. The chap's gonna lift it off with his crane. Lifting frame on. Blocks ready just here. Look, look, drop it on those blocks. And just drop it on the blocks, and that's it. The boat's ready for servicing. Try and put a bead of weld. See how I see it there, look. Try and put a bead of weld along there just to. I've uh, cleaned it off, so fingers crossed it's dry. Let's see. <laughs> 